Hello, this is Chris with Solutions and in this video, I'll be showing how to add lower thirds to your videos right in the vMix. So if you're ready, let's dive right into the video. Alright, so here we are in the vMix and I have already imported my videos and if you're new to this software, okay, I made a couple of tutorials on how to use vMix, um, how to import vMix, I'm sorry, how to import videos into vMix and also how to stream from uh, vmix to facebook and to youtube okay so if um, you want to get acquainted with this software okay you can i'll leave a link to the playlist in the description so feel free to watch those videos before you come and watch this all right so um okay so we have successfully imported, imported our videos okay so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to add my lower thirds and vmix comes with a ton of lower thirds okay so to do that you go to um, where you have your add input right here okay so you go to add input and then you go all the way down to um, okay and then you go all the way down to where you have title slash x a m l all right right here and then you click it so as you can see there are a ton of options um ton of lower thirds to choose from a ton of them hundreds of them okay um you have the ticker the one that scrolls across the screen okay but um for this tutorial we're just going to focus on how to add lower thirds to our videos okay so maybe in another tutorial we're going to talk about how to add the scrolling or the ticker um, option all right so let's say i want to choose um let's just go for any option um okay so let's go for this okay let's just let me go for this blue or this green okay all right so i choose that and i click okay All right, so as you can see right here, um, the lower third has been, or uh, okay, has has uh, been imported into our VMix, okay, into a new window, or into a, a new uh, input tab, okay. So we are going to edit it, okay. We can edit it to whatever um, you know form or format we want to, okay. So we have the headline here and we have the description, okay. So I'm going to for the headline. I'm going to add just put the name of. So let's uh, we're going to use this video for the project or for this tutorial. So let's say I'm going to add the name of the newscaster or the or the broadcaster. So I'm I'm just going to say um, Mac. Okay, Mac Million. Mac Million. Uh, just any any random name. Um, okay. So this is the name of the um okay then under the description you can put uh maybe um international correspondent correspondent rather all right so and then i can click this plus icon here if i want to maybe add uh, more um or if i want to add more options to my lower third i can just click this option here and then i can let's say if i'm using another um, video okay i can just change or edit um the the, the name of the broadcaster so let me just add them let's just say uh william okay so let me just change it to william william will Okay. and i can say this is um um business correspondent all right so i can then come back here and click this plus sign so i have successfully added another option to this lower thread so if i want to maybe just switch it maybe if i'm using another video i can just switch it and then so as it will save me time um on my project okay so i'm going to use the first one which is this option all right so i'm going to close this window and now I, i'm going to use any of these overlay options right here one two three four to add them to my video okay so i'm going to just select one all right so as you can see we have successfully added um the lower third to the video so i can change the position of the lower third okay or change the size as well all right so in order to do that 
okay I just click this gear icon right here and then I go to where I have position okay so I click position and then um, ensure that I select a uh, main okay ensure that um, the option here is on main okay then where I have zoom okay I can just adjust it okay okay you can either adjust just the um, horizontal position or the vertical position as you as you wish okay can either adjust the horizontal uh, adjust the horizontally or vertically all right okay but what I'm gonna do I'm, I'm just gonna adjust it in a uniform manner all right so to do that I just click um, come to where I have the zoom right here and then I can zoom just reduce it okay or leave it like so and then I can also adjust the positioning so if I want it to be a little maybe a little bit to the left okay I can just go to my zoom uh, sorry my pan X position right here or if I want it to go to the a little bit to the um, you know to the Y position that's the vertical I can just adjust the pan Y position okay or alternatively you can just click and drag it right from this display window here okay so I think I might just leave it somewhere like so and then you just close the window okay so as you can see we have successfully changed the size and also the positioning of um, the lower third okay so I'm going to repeat the process I'm going to add another lower third um, okay so I'm going to use this footage this drone footage okay so I'm going to go to my add input once again right here I add input and then I go to uh, my title slash XAML right so I'm just going to look for maybe a suitable lower third um, just a simple one okay okay I think I go for this and then I click OK all right so I can just say drone footage so I can edit the, this the um, title of this so I can just say drone footage drone footage drone footage of Abuja of Abuja city all right of course if you don't know where Abuja is is the um, it's the headquarters of my beloved country Nigeria all right so I'm gonna reduce now as you can see right here this um right here you can see that the text is cut off all right all right so i'm going to resize the text so to do that i'm going to highlight this and then where i have this um minus sign right here okay this minus sign right here i'm going to now um, just click it just to reduce so as you can see the text is being resized to fit into the frame all right you can resize it Yes, and then I can just click this to add it to my queue so I can close this and once again I use my overlay options to send it into my output video all right so as you can see it's being displayed on the output video so I can turn it up once again and then turn it on once again all right so this is how you add lower thirds to your videos in vmix all right so if there's any part of this tutorial you don't understand feel free to ask me questions and of course i'll attend to them as soon as possible all right so once again if you are new to, to vmix okay i'll leave a link to a playlist of um, tutorial videos i made on vmix in the description box or in the comment section so feel free to watch them all right all right so i'm sure you had value from this video if you did please give this video a like share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more amazing graphic design and internet tips tricks and tutorials so till i see you in my next video take care and stay safe